They are coming. Go, torch it. Burn it all. But what about the serum? Leave nothing. Now I will show you how I deal with informants. Finish him. With pleasure. These are the coordinates Ellis sent. Over there. It's Ellis. Executed. Leon, you find anything? The place is torched. I don't know what they were growing but it wasn't narcotics. Romer knew we were coming. So what's our next move? We watch for the next viral outbreak. We won't have to wait long. Logan's report was clear enough. I want two additional teams assigned to this. Find Romer. I understand. Logan is my best agent. What do you want to do? Nothing. We will wait. We will wait and see what he can discover. Our WHO contact was correct. Everyone within 100 miles is dead. Not everyone. This man is still alive. How is that possible? It's not. Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. This is Siphon Filter, a game that I actually played a decent chunk back in my youth. Ah, all those years ago. Feels like a lifetime ago now. Um, I was introduced to this game originally by the demo. Do you remember those little discs that came on the front of uh, magazines? Which was, let's be honest, the only reason we bought those uh, video game magazines in the first place. And we played them for days and weeks and months because video games were incredibly expensive. And we played the hell out of this demo. Um, I can't actually remember, to be honest, if it was one of those games that we knew about and we was excited about, or if it was one of those games that just kind of came out of nowhere. And man, <sighs> many secrets were found in the demo, if I believe, or at least what we would assume would be secrets. Um, you know, little uh, weapon stashes and ammo stashes and things like that. And visually, for the time, this game was absolutely outstanding. And you know what? It holds up reasonably well now. I was expecting to come back and find the controls to be a horrendous mess and, while a little bit crusty, they're not bad. Now, before we get into this game, uh, we are going to watch the training video because that would save me explaining all of the controls and it's just deliciously cheesy and old school and uh, I'm all about that life. The game's gonna load. Training video! Yes! We don't need tutorials, we have a training video. Well, I mean calling this a video is a little bit generous, but well, enjoy. Gabe, this is a quick primer on the basic controls you need to complete your mission. Pay attention and you might stay alive. Use your D-pad to move around the environment. By pressing L1 in conjunction with the D-pad, you can aim your weapons for accurate fire. Different weapons have different aim modes. When aiming with the sniper rifle, you can hit the triangle button to zoom in and the circle button to zoom out. Tap the select button to quickly switch the next weapon, or hold select down and press L2 or R2 to cycle back and forth between weapons. Press start to pause the game and access the interface. Here you can change game options, access level maps, and most importantly, check your current mission objectives and parameters. Pay attention to these. Fail any of them and it's game over. Triangle is your interaction button. Use it to kick open doors, activate switches, climb over obstacles, jump up to ledges, and perform other actions. You'll also use this button to accept incoming transmissions. Hit square to fire. Your likelihood of hitting your target increases the closer you are, the more directly you face the target, and the longer you stand still. With your weapons training, you should be able to take on a battalion of terrorists, but always remember the first rule of combat, Gabe. Sometimes it's smarter to run than fight. 
When you need cover from enemy fire or better aim to hit a target, kneel by holding X. You can also use X with the D-pad to crouch and walk. This maneuver will keep you silent and out of sight, perfect for stealth missions, and you can also use it to climb down over ledges. Hit the circle button to roll. This is an excellent defensive move that can keep you one step ahead of an enemy's fire. You can also use the D-pad to control the direction of your roll. R1 is your target lock button. Hit it and a targeting cursor will draw itself around the nearest enemy. Hold it and the camera will always point towards that enemy, allowing you to aim and fire at him no matter what you're doing. Master the skill if you want to live. Strafe by holding L2 or R2. If you're good, you can also use the D-pad at the same time to maneuver through any tight spots. A few closing bits of advice. If you're outnumbered, run. If you're unnoticed, sneak. And if you've got the shot, take it. Make yourself an easy target for those terrorists and you'll wind up dead. Did you catch all that? Excellent. Right. So this is like a third person uh, action shooter, but it does have some stealth mechanics in it and a bit of a wonky aiming system. But yeah, yeah, it holds up reasonably well. Let's go. Agency Directive. Our FBI informant has pinpointed the terrorist viral attacks on the DC subway system. Our contacts within the US Defense and Interpol confirm the identities of the terrorists. Terrorists, eh? We'll drop you off. Uh, we will drop you in ooh, after CBDC, US Army Chemical and Biological Defense Command operations begin. Your targets are Roma, Kravach, Amarov, and Gurdu. SATCOM has intercepted coded microwave traffic. Roma must have an uplink station in the area. Assist CBDC if needed. Avoid collateral casualties if possible. Check your objectives on site for more information. Hi, so we are Gabe Logan. We are an agent for the US military and we have our sidekick called Leon. She's cool. She is a helmet head, quite literally. She has that rather fetching um, <laughs> thing on her head. It's supposed to be hair, but it literally does kind of look like a helmet. <laughs> oh, good God. Welcome to the 90s, kids. Well, yeah, I don't know, actually. This might have been 2000. Yeah. I forget. Right, let's go. Let's go shoot some terrorists. Begin? Our intelligence within the FBI was not clear. But Romer's men are already inside the subway. Is it the same virus? Yes, enough to eliminate everyone within a hundred miles or more. Procedure? Standard intercept and eliminate. These are from our contact inside Interpol. Jenkins' team is already on search and defuse. You are the trigger. I recognize Anton Gerdu and Mara Aramov. Who's the other one? Pavel Kravich, Romer's communications expert. When you eliminate him, you'll also have to destroy his calm uplink. You'll be dropped into the strike zone when the firefight begins. You'll have an hour to find your targets and take them out. Do the locals know what they're dealing with? No. Nope. It's just another day in Washington, D.C. Gunshots and all. Copy. I'm on my way. Alright, let's get this party started. So, I think the best thing to do, let's start off by taking out Crevis, shall we? So, we automatically aim at enemies, which is quite nice, and it works reasonably well. Also, check the shader when you actually hit an enemy, and you actually see, like, blood splatches on them. Splatches? Is that a word? It is now. Uh, we can also go into this, like, first-person cam, which actually is somewhat important because the second we go into it uh, it automatically aims our gun at headshot height very important uh, because later on in the game enemies are going to start wearing body armor and body armor is strong now you'll also notice that we're not actually taking any hits that's because we don't actually take damage until our danger bar is full uh, danger bar is under that health meter there. It's strange, but uh, I don't know, man. It it, it what it well, I'd say it works. It does work. It is what it is. A bit bizarre. Um, so you are a little bit more durable than you actually think. Anyway, let's go grab the old uh, 
assault rifle here and go gate crush this gate crush gate crash this pub yeah sounds like a good idea doesn't it check those corners strafing's really useful as well although uh, we're actually playing a this on an Xbox controller here hello sir we're using a uh, elite controller for this because well <laughs> the older uh, original PlayStation controller well she she hasn't aged very well ah hello who talked to hey, Gabe, I'm getting interference you must be near their communications array Leon. Kravich Kravich come on Kravich Alright, let's go uh, Grease's crevice with some bullets, shall we? Now, crevice here is wearing body armor, so he's actually really durable, but uh, according to my old Primer magazine, because... <laughs> yep, first sort of boss in the game, one bullet to the head. Now... We're going to be kind of leaning on that quite a lot because, and also because he has a, a flat jacket which we didn't destroy, we can nick that if we wanted. But ours is fine. Now, one of the cool things about this is the whole locational damage. Like, it was one of the first games that I can really remember where you could, like, actually shoot enemies in the head and, you know, kind of a little bit like Goldeneye. Also, peep this. This is something that kind of impressed us back in the day. You can actually shoot like bottles and things in the environment. Uh, yeah, I know. It's funny. We take it for granted now, but there wasn't really a thing back then. I anyway. I Kravich and destroyed the comm equipment, but I don't see their uplink dish. I'll trace it. Let's get going. Okay, so Kravich is gone. Excellent. Let's go go back out onto the mean streets. I'm pretty sure we're in Washington, D.C. Are we not? I can't remember now. Uh, is it going to tell us? Might do. Uh, yeah, we are. Washington, D.C. Georgia Street, apparently. I thought we were. Yep, another day in America. Just running around, shooting the place up. Uh, okay, there we go. Now, these cars, you want to be careful of these cars. These cars explode. And, and, and boy, <laughs> but boy, do they explode, like with two bullets. It's not good. Explosions and things like that in this game are basically a one-hit game over. It's pretty rough. Now, one of the big things with um, the Siphon Fields game is we always have a taser. It has unlimited ammo, and it kills enemies really quickly. The only trouble with it is, I say quickly, it takes about five seconds or so, or maybe about three seconds to kill an enemy. So you do have that like waiting period, but it's kind of broken. Oh, it doesn't work against enemies with flak jackets though. I mean, people that are above us, wait for the auto aim, zap, <laughs> wait for him to catch fire because fuck you, <laughs> literally. This poor little chap up there just trying to be, a, you know, the best terrorist he can possibly be. And along comes old Gaben here with his um, human combusting bloody taser. Oh, yep, yep, there we go. Yep, if we were anywhere near that. Oh, and these guys don't die until you release the button. So you can really enjoy this. But you'll probably get shot <laughs> by somebody else. So, you know. Tase responsibly, I guess. There we go. Hello, sir. Nice to meet ya. There we go. Yes, I, I enjoyed when your skin was falling off your bones. All right, what's going on in here? Oh, uh, there's a flak jacket in there. Oh, there's also like a darkness mechanic too. Oh, what does Leon want? CBDC has an agent pinned down at your location. Uh -huh. They're requesting cover fire. I see. Okay, this mission actually, or this little objective here, gave me a little bit of anxiety as a kid, because, uh, you know, if this guy dies, yeah, I, I think we get a game over. Oh, dude. Also, this game's shotgun is pretty fantastic for the time. It sounds good, it feels good, it's powerful. Everything you want. Now he's actually disarmed the bomb, it doesn't matter if he dies, so, you know, screw that guy. You alright there, dude? All clear, Gabe. You having a good time? Excellent. Now, cycling through 
your weapons with uh, the select button is fine and dandy but it doesn't cycle to your flashlight which is a bit of a pain because although I know where some of this stuff is obviously you know the pitch black in this game is pitch black so we have to actually manually select it and you know doom 3 developers were taking some pretty pretty big notes there because uh you can't have a flashlight and a weapon out at once which well i guess was the style of the time anywho let's go i think that was oh yeah there's a m16 there now there is a load of blurb for all of our weapons as well as we pick them up like we can go to our weapons here and we can get some blurb, you know, tells you the fire rate, damage, all that kind of good stuff. You know, it's flavor text, it's cool, um, but there's an awful lot here to read it. So if I just flip through this stuff, anyone wants to read it, there you go. Sniper rifle is pretty juicy. Grenades are spicy, um, you know, they, they can go wrong very very quickly <laughs> very quickly and of course our flashlight there we go shockproofing is charged by a 300 hour battery yeah ah uh, okay i want to get one of these fusion powered flashlights right well our work here is done let's go back to the uh oh hello all right all right, calm down. Some spicy so-and-sos outside. There we go. Yeah, I'd like some of that. Also, this taser has an absolutely ridiculous range. And I'm so down for it. <laughs> and I do love the way that you can just see Gabe <laughs> down in the corner, just burning these men to death. You know, without a single shred of remorse. But, you know, they're terrorists, so... Yeah, it makes sense, I guess. Well, uh, Washington, D.C. certainly looks like the pictures. Right, you're done. Now, there are an awful lot of enemies in this game. And they do kind of pop in and out fairly regularly. You can kill them all, but it's not really worth it. If you ask me. Don't worry. The general populace are just looking out their window, watching uh, all these burning corpses plummet to the ground. It's fine. Just another day. It's raining burning corpses. Truly an apocalyptic tale. Now, also, you can tell how close you are to being hit on the old map there. A green enemy uh, isn't actually going to shoot you. No matter how much they're shooting at you, they're not going to cause you any damage. As soon as they start turning red, that's when you want to kind of focus on them. Just a little bit. Alright. Let's go back out to the mean streets. Evening. Alright, let's help our lone soldier out here. Just, you know, murder some terrorists. Don't know where these terrorists are coming from. There's like hundreds of thousands of them. Now, we're supposed to be going down here, but we can't. Not yet. I can't actually remember why we can't come down here. I think the door's locked. The door's probably locked. Yeah. Leon, Romer's men have locked down the subway entrance security gates. You'll have to find the bypass switch. See if you can find a service elevator. Well, just so happens that I know where there's a service elevator. Pretty handy. I guess we've done our homework. Okay, so let's get back out here. What's going on? Terrorists? God damn. You know, uh, things are going south when terrorists are roaming the streets. That's okay. You just need a Gabe. Seems to fix the problem fairly well. Now, this is one of the secrets, actually, that we found pretty early on. Or, oh, I don't know, actually, if it was that early on thinking about it. I think it was after a couple of weeks of playing the demo. Somebody found this. Now, I'm pretty sure there is, like, a secret around here. This is, like, a movie theatre. I can't 
can't exactly remember what it involves. Something to do with watching like all the game's cinematics or something. I swear I remember something around that, but I guess it doesn't matter. So let's grab the uh, sniper rifle ammo. There's a lot of enemies here. We've got a couple of dudes on the roof covering us, but we don't need to really worry too much about them. We've got another flak jacket there as well, but we haven't actually taken any damage yet. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure somewhere around here you can put in a code and you can like view all of the game's files or something or video files anyway right so first sneaky little secret that we discovered you can actually jump up here somehow I'm not really sure how gay spider-man's up there but I'm not gonna worry about that too much let's get the taser out and then we line this up just right like so, there we go. We can monkey ourselves across like good old Solid Snake. And I have a couple of goons come down here, but that's all right. <laughs> we'll just mercilessly burn them to death because Gabe likes doing that. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. It's so fantastic. Anyway, luckily for us here, there is a treasure. It is the M79 Grenade Launcher, which is a pretty bloody spicy meatball indeed. Um, can you kill yourself with it? Oh yeah. Oh yes. Yes you can. Remarkably easily as well, I might add. So, let's keep going. Plenty more goons to kill. Um... Am I going to die by going down that way? I'm not even going to risk it, you know? <laughs> We're going to go back on there to actually, somehow. Yeah, there we go. We can speed that up. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Head back around, jump this way. Nope. Gabe. Early 3D games. Gabe. Gaben. There we go. Come on, Gaben. There we go. Lovely. Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> Got to love these emulators. All right. Let's go down. Yeah. Any kind of like uh, full damage in this game it can be really detrimental to you. Like pretty bad. Also, push the button before you go down the hole. Go down the hole. You're going to break every bone in your body. Definitely found that out the hard way. Okay. Right. Now, what do we have down here? This very iffy looking service elevator. Gabe, this must be where the subway security bypass switch is located. Find it and shut it off. Copy. See if you can find a copy of the subway system security protocols. Alright. Yep. Look, look for those things. Now... The button we need, if you're wondering if it's hidden in the dark, yes it is. They like to hide switches and buttons the in the security. dark in this game. The ramp in the first terminal should be clear now. But that's okay. Because we have a 300 hour torch. Which... Apparently defeats and beats back the darkness every single time. Alright. That's quite enough out of you, sir. This guy's kind of difficult to hit, actually. If you don't aim at him directly. So, let's get back. Now we can go down into the train car. Or the train station, I should say. Now, you can lean in this game, which is really freaking cool. If you go into your first-person mode and push L and R, or L2 and R2, you can lean and that's kind of cool because even now that's not a feature that's really you know standardized and that's a shame because it's a really bloody useful feature so like oh hi guys evening wow you guys were pretty durable actually I like the way they're all rolling up with nine millimeters could have armed these terrorists with something with a little bit more bang. Well, I'm kind of glad they didn't, to be honest. Right, let's get our torch out. 
because there is some goodies here somewhere. It's a flak jacket. I don't really care about the flak jacket. We couldn't wear it if we wanted it, to be honest. All right, whatever. Let's go back to the good old M16. Ah, yeah. God damn it. Rumors men have set a viral bomb on level one. If you find a tag it, I'll give its location to CBDC. Copy. A Where's Romer? Viral level bomb. two. I'm on my way. A viral bomb, she says. Wow, that's no good, is it? Certainly gonna have to sort that out. Hello? Hello, sir. Oh, hi. Didn't quite see you there. Luckily, these guys are literally going to throw, around, throw their ammo at us. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, gee, that train looks dangerous. Yes, yes it is. It will kill you instantly. Yeah, you will not have a good time. So there is a little secret down here as well. Beacon set. Tell CBDC to get its guys down here. Copy. They're on their way. Now there's another little hidden cache. Just down here. And it does actually have some pretty decent goodies. Little hidey hole. Nobody here. That's fine. All right, let's pop the old torch on. 300 hour battery. So there's the other M79, which is pretty cool. I suppose we could try the M79. It's just a big, nasty, spicy ball of death. Like so. <laughs> is it satisfying to use though? Oh yeah, it's so satisfying. But unfortunately, it can just go spectacularly wrong. Good thing these are uh, the glow-in-the-dark variety of crates. <coughs> I do like the fact that if we push the triangle button, we can just endlessly pump this gun. It's a thing. I don't know whether it's like a bug or a feature. Yes, probably both. Alright, let's continue with the mission. Now, we need to go deeper. Now, the shotgun isn't exactly totally and utterly useless at long range, which is kind of rare in video games. I mean, it's not amazing at extended ranges, but it's definitely serviceable. Okay. Let's keep pushing forwards. Come on, Gaben. Plenty of terrorists left. That terrorist was like shoot his friend in the back well that's what you expect from terrorists to be fair we are Gaben defender of freedom one shotgun shell at a time there we are cheers pal almost ran out of shotgun shells oh hi yes please need some more you don't get many from these guys I don't think they were expected to survive because they weren't exactly equipped with a lot of weapons now we can go down a little ramp down there but there's no point because it is locked locked I mean technically we can kill some enemies but it's not that useful but luckily for us, there is another elevator cool thingy. And there's a load of enemies down there, but yeah, there's no, no real point in fighting them. Because they don't really give you anything. Now. Ah, oh, god damn it. Now you're I'm getting me shot. He's on the lower level, arming another bomb. I <gasps> He's arming another... Oh, we're about to possibly die. Yep. There we go. Thanks. Thanks, Leon. Whatever your name is. If that is your real name. Luckily, the checkpoints aren't too savage. But uh, I'll catch you guys in a minute. Right, let's get rid of this douchebag before we answer the call. There we go. Did we literally just miss that phone call? All right, well, she was only going to tell us that there's another bomb down here or something. Ooh, careful. 
Now, things are a little bit spicier on this side. But we're basically at the end of the level now, so it's all gravy. Whoop! Hello. Oh, hi guys. Yeah, you can see how quickly the shotgun can actually wipe you out if you're not careful. It's a pretty nasty piece of kit, to be fair. But that's okay. Evening. Oh, he's got a flak jacket. Oh, you little sausage, you. There we go. Now, the shotgun does appear to fire slugs in this game. If we fire a wall or something, you can see literally just fires a single shot. But that's okay. That works to our advantage. I'm setting a beacon. Wait. Leon, this one's different from the others. It has a shorter timer, and it looks... Game, that's not viral. It's too late. <laughs> Gabe, that's not viral. It's too late. So, uh... <laughs> yeah. Alright. Um, yeah, so anyway, guys, that is... Well, that siphon filter. Um, I hope you're going to enjoy this game. This, I think this one's going to be a blast. It's really going to be fun. So, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.